get much sleep. No, it's okay. OK, um, congratulations on the film. Oh, thank you. Um, when I spoke to you before, it was about Jimmy P. Yes. And now, again, you're in a film with just two characters yeah, true. On, on, on screen. Um, is it difficult promoting two films at the same time in Cannes? How's it been for you? Promoting is one sort of the most stupid activity of human being kind, you know? It shouldn't exist. Now, imagine you're doing an interview, and now, after, you have to explain how you did the interview. And, and, and tell me about When you do something, you do it because you don't know why you're doing it, and it's attraction. It's irresistible. It's because it's amazing directors. And so I stop my real life as a director. That's my own uh, life and attraction to movies. And But Arnaud is the guy who invented me as an actor, and now we have this friendship for 20 years, and it's beautiful to continue, and Roman is like the man, maybe the director, who made me fall in love with movies and with directing. Watching his films when I was 16, 17, 18, and then reading absolutely everything about him, how he works, seeing all, everything. So, and one day, uh, 10 days before the shooting, boom. Like destiny, you know, like if it was a natural thing that we one day would work together. And so I stopped writing and I, 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 I was free for those five weeks and let's go. Was, was it like a dream come true for you to write? No, no, dreams, dreams, uh, dreams, no, it's not dreams. Shouldn't have dreams, dreams are stupid. No, no, dreams, uh, it's uh, it's really more to do with the mystery of life that is uh, why one day you go that way and that way and why was I available during those five weeks and it had to happen, I don't know. So it's fate. I didn't expect it, I never dreamt about it. If you dream of something, it won't happen. It would only say be a dream. You can't live your fantasies. You have to um, Make invent them, them right. in real life. More funny. It happened, and then it's just trying to be, to know your lines, trying to feel what he's looking for and playing this complicity with Emmanuel. And um, when I saw, discovered the film last night, because work with, working with Roman is very meticulous, very precise. You have to be in a sense of rhythm, very, very precise, very good with hands and very, and, and I, I just saw the film with this free spirit, this, laughing, it's, uh, I understand why Roman just told me when I wrote the script, it's funny and yeah? we're gonna have fun. I, I was amazed by the craziness of the film. And, and as an actor and director, could you, you obviously could relate to the story, which more so as an actor or as the director? Ah. Uh, well, I think Roman wanted to have fun about the pretentious artists, you know? People that think that they know something. And sometimes men who read a little and uh, then you give them some power, like a casting. Uh, it's the worst part of humankind that arrives especially against women. And that's why humiliating women and actresses is uh, for men, they think. You know what I mean, it's terrible. And that is something that Roman hasn't discussed. So it was a complicity about that, about having 
bringing the character in the, his stupidest parts. That was very funny. Uh, like the nightmare that I, we, we hope we will never be like that. Or Roman, maybe if I had been stupid, if uh, I would have been like this guy. And I'm lucky as an actor that as I'm never searching for parts, uh, I do it only when friends ask me. Never I was in a situation of casting. So, uh, and I don't do my self-casting as a director because I find it, I think it's the, the worst way to see somebody. Because the person that enters know that they, it has to seduce. And I'll just watch people in real life and in theater. Yeah. Poking me in the back. Yeah. <laughs> that means I've got to finish. <laughs> Already? Oh, okay. Thank well, you very much. No, Sorry, nothing. I'd love to talk to you for yeah. a bit.